How big is the universe, really? Does it have a boundary? Let's begin a journey from Earth, past the solar system, across the Milky Way, through vast galaxy superclusters, to reach what we call the edge of the universe, in search of the ultimate mystery. Our starting point is the Moon, Earth's only natural satellite, where Neil Armstrong left humanity's first footprint in 1969. Next is Venus, with its thick CO2 atmosphere and scorching surface temperatures of 462 degrees Celsius, gleaming as the evening star after sunset. Mercury, the smallest and closest planet to the Sun, endures extreme temperatures. The Sun, our central star, shines thanks to nuclear fusion, but will one day exhaust its fuel. Earth lies in the habitable zone, an average of 150 million kilometers away, with sunlight taking eight minutes to reach us. Nearby is Mars, the dry, red planet, also within the habitable zone, making it a top target for exploration. Beyond the asteroid belt is Jupiter, the gas giant with the great red spot large enough to swallow two to three Earths. Saturn boasts stunning icy rings, famously captured by Cassini, along with Earth shown as a faint blue dot. Farther still are Uranus and Neptune, the icy blue twin giants whose color comes from methane in their atmospheres. Leaving the solar system and looking back, it becomes just a tiny point of light in the darkness. Every twinkling dot in the sky is a star like the sun, many with their own planetary systems. The Milky Way contains over 200 billion stars, stretching 100,000 light years across, with Earth humbly located at its edge. About 2.5 million light years away lies Andromeda, our largest neighboring galaxy. Both the Milky Way and Andromeda belong to the local group, a collection of around 50 galaxies, which itself is just a small part of the Virgo supercluster hundreds of millions of light years across. And throughout the universe lie countless other superclusters. Each point of light in deep cosmic images is a galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars. The farther we look, the further back in time we see. Sunlight takes eight minutes to reach us, light from Andromeda over 2.5 million years. At the edge of the observable universe, we glimpse the ancient past, the first stars, the formation of galaxies, and even further back, the cosmic microwave background radiation, the relic of the Big Bang. 13.8 billion years ago, the universe emerged from an unimaginably small, hot, dense singularity. In 1927, Georges Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang 